So, you've bought a Draytech router and you're ready to make the most of ultra fast speeds and the many features that come along with it. But how exactly do you set it up? A router, put simply, is a networking device that connects your devices to the internet, like computers, phones, and tablets. It sends information from the internet to these devices using a modem, so that you can enjoy all the benefits of Wi-Fi. These devices that are connected to the internet make up your LAN, also known as local area network. A router is an integral part of a network and acts as a dispatcher by literally routing your information so that it travels in the most efficient way. Routers can also help protect your information from security threats too. So that's why it's so important to choose the right router for your needs, so that your network connectivity is enhanced and personalized to your exact requirements. Luckily, Draytech offers market-leading solutions fit for any network requirement, with their extensive range of routers for all needs, like smaller, less demanding home networks, all the way up to enterprises, you'll be sure to find one that's the perfect fit for you. We have a complete comprehensive Draytech router buying guide on our YouTube channel, which we'll link on screen now. So be sure to check that out if you need any help deciding. So now we know exactly what your router is and what it does. How do we set one up with Draytech? Well, first and foremost, let's make sure you have an internet connection, which you should have already if you're watching this video. Once we're happy that we have an internet connection, let's go ahead and unbox our router. For today's video, we'll be using the Draytech 2865 LAX 5G but this router setup guide applies to any of the Draytech router models. 5G routers are a fantastic choice for those who don't want to or can't use a fixed line, like a DSL cable. And for those who want faster, lower latency internet that can connect multiple devices simultaneously, like businesses or enterprises. So as we open up our Draytech 2865 LAX 5G, we can see here that we have a user guide. The user guide is important because it will provide us with the default IP address and login details for our router. Router. IP stands for Internet Protocol, and an IP address is a unique identifier that identifies devices connected to the internet. Typically, the default IP address of any router should be 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. And we can see here today that the default IP address for our router is 192.168.1.1. And our default login details are admin admin for both the username and the password. The quick start guide will also explain how to set up your router in terms of hardware and wall mounted installation and antenna installation too. There's often tips and advice in the quick start guide for where to position your router for the best possible performance, such as not placing the router in a damp or humid place, not stacking routers, and not exposing routers to direct sunlight or heat sources. Ideally, you want to place your router in an open location away from any walls to achieve optimal wireless performance. As this router is a 5G one, it comes with internal antennas that you can attach into the back. It's worth noting here that you can pair pointing external antennas to any of the Draytech 5G routers for a stronger and more reliable network connection and stability. Make sure to check our blog, which we'll link in the description, for more information about using external antennas in your router network setup. So now that we know where we want to install our router, let's actually install it into our network. In order to do this, we need to connect the WAN port from our router into our modem using an ethernet cable. Now, all that's left to do is power our router on. Make sure to check the LED status of your router, as this can tell you important information about your network status and whether your network connection has dropped or gone down. Now, we can connect any ethernet cables from our network to the RJ45 port on our router to provide access to the internet. So we've installed our router ready to set up and now we have to log in. Let's log into our web browser and use that default IP address 192.168.1.1. Once entered, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen that prompts you to enter the default username and password, which in this case will be admin admin. Now that you're in, it's strongly recommended that you change your network password for obvious security reasons. You can also now change the name of your router. With routers, it's important to check that your firmware is up to date. This is because as technology constantly advances, your router needs to be able to keep up with ever-changing standards and capabilities. It's also essential for keeping your device up to date with software and hardware developments. And overall, it just makes things quicker. So now let's create a custom SSID and password together. SSID stands for Service Set Identifier and is just a fancy way to refer to what you name your network. An SSID is important because any devices that want to connect to your network need to know the SSID. We can also set a guest SSID and password 
which is particularly useful for businesses that require separate networks for their guests, like coffee shops, hotels, etc. As the name suggests, a guest SSID is a separate network name, created for guests to access the internet. Having a guest SSID is important for keeping your personal data protected as it allows guests to access the internet without sharing primary network credentials. With Draytech, it's super easy to both create and manage your guest network. Now we can go over our security settings. Of course, depending on what you need from your network, your security features will be slightly different. But as an overview, Draytech has many fantastic security features such as VPN capabilities, advanced QoS and content filtering, secure encrypted network access and more to help protect your setup. Once again, we'll link our in-depth Draytech router buying guide on screen now for you to check out all those features in more detail. So there you have it. You've now set up your Draytech router and you're ready to explore the endless possibilities that come with it. There really is so much you can do with Draytech routers. With so many different models with specific features tailored to a wide range of applications, the possibilities are endless for customizing your router to your exact needs. Just by looking at the drop down menu in our router UI, we have all of these features to play around with and implement into our network. Setting up the router really is just the beginning. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you. Or if you need assistance with any specific features you had in mind when setting up your Draytech router, please don't hesitate to get in contact with our wonderful support team. Follow us on all our socials to keep up with what we're doing day to day and behind the scenes. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload from us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.